Here are six dating behaviors that will destroy any potential of a good dating relationship. It's Coach B. Wiley. So I wrote these six tips down for you, young ladies, because I need for you to understand what you could possibly be doing wrong, but you're not aware of when it comes to dating. Number one, when you're dating someone, you don't want to spill the beans and tell him all your business. However, you don't want to be secretive. You definitely want to be open about who you are and what your intentions are, whatever goals you may have in conversation. There is nothing wrong with being conversational about who you are. That lets him know a little bit about your character, but only your actions will show who your character are. But to just get a window seat into who your character is, you definitely want to be open and you want to make sure you're not hiding anything or coming off like you're hiding things. And you can be a private person all day. I'm a private person. You can be reserved. I'm a reserved person. However, when it's secretive, it's almost like he'll ask a question and then you'll answer his question with the question. Let's not do that because you don't want him to do that to you, right? So number two, when we're talking about dating, you want to stop omitting information. <laughs> like if you was a cheater and you used to be cheating back in the day, you don't want to omit that information. Do it sound good to lead into conversation like that? Absolutely not. But if you're on the conversation and if he's owned up to making a mistake in the past, he did it once, he didn't like it, didn't like the way he felt, he was really ugly how he felt about it, he won't ever do it again, then you can then be open. And not that he has to say he was a cheater for you to say you were a cheater, but I'm literally talking about a conversation that is an interrogation and you come up on the conversation of cheaters. You can say that you did cheat. You don't want to go into all the specifics. However, it is a way to do it. You can say what the situation was, why you did it, why you regret it, what you're going to do differently if that scenario repeated itself before that would make you think about cheating, what you learned, how you've changed, how you've evolved. That's what grown people do. You see how I did that? So he ain't going to be looking at you shady like, oh my God, he's going to be looking at you all like, well, she's growing. She's growing. She has growth. She's intelligent. She's doing it. I'm going to give her grace because we all make mistakes. Number three, when we're talking about behaviors and we need to leave behind the silent treatment. I talk about this a lot with guys. However, women can give the silent treatment too. And it's actually called something else. But when it comes to the silent treatment, if he's giving you the silent treatment, that's not okay. That's never okay for him to just go, his mouth to go mute if he don't want to engage in conversation. Whether it is an issue, that's his problem. Whether it's your cause and the issue, no matter what it is. Going silent in a dating relationship should never be tolerated and should be 100% be a deal breaker. And I know you're like, well, dang, be wily. Why I gotta be all, why we gotta just stop? Well, why do you want to be with someone who don't want to talk to you, sis? Ask yourself that. And speaking of that, here comes another tip. I think this is what, number four? Or this might be number three. Cold shoulder. Don't be giving this dude to cold shoulder. If you got an attitude, you need to find out why you got this attitude and you need to address it by having an open and honest conversation about what's on your mind, why you're upset, why you're triggered, and therefore why you're giving him short, dry answers when he's trying to engage with you. Giving him the cold shoulder is just as bad as him giving you the silent treatment. Neither one of them are going to give results, so why are you doing it? All right, the next one is inconsistent. This is bad behavior. Anybody can be inconsistent. He can be inconsistent. You can be inconsistent. You can say one thing and do the next. You could be consistently late. And that is throwing everyone's schedule off. It's throwing the date off. It's throwing the movies off. It's throwing something he had planned off. Don't be inconsistent. If you want consistency, one must then be consistent. Reciprocate what you want. Reciprocate what you're getting. And in this situation, if he's being consistent, which I hope he is, you want to reciprocate that. You want to mirror that. You don't want to have this kind of thought in your mind that he's supposed to wait on me. I'm the woman. I'm the lady. He better get down or lay down. No, that's not how it works. That's ego, lady. You you got a lot of ego going on. And we don't want to leave with that. And so the last thing on my six tips, this is a six tips on behaviors that destroy dating relationships. The last one is mind reader. This one gets on my nerves because this one affects us women a lot. And it's off-putting to men that we're dating is that we'll be upset about something, triggered about something, annoyed by something, bothered by something, whatever word you want to use. You see, I'm using different words, right? Because y'all be in them comments. Y'all be in them comments. So I'm going across the board, giving y'all different words, right? Whatever it is that got you bugging out, you expect him to read your mind and, and come into your brain and, and pick through it and figure out what's wrong with you. When all your grown self got to do is open your mouth and tell him what the issue is and have a conversation. So if you're watching this, 
And some of these things are sounding familiar, whether that is the cold shoulder, omit, omitting information because you don't want to seem like you look bad and you know you've grown. Whether that is being secretive because the last dude you told something, he ran out and told everybody and he held it against you. Whether that is a silent treatment, being inconsistent or mind reading, expect him to be your mind reader. I need you to stop these things because these things will kill a dating relationship. They will kill the beginnings of the cultivation of a relationship. So you just want to leave these things behind. Just work on them. If you know you had a habit of any of those things, all you can do is practice on pushing them out your life and pivoting in a new direction. You got it. I hope this helps. If you know someone who could use my help, pass along this video, share my page with them. Coach B. Wiley on all the things. If you're watching this on TikTok, thank you so much. Go ahead and follow me. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I have daily dating tips and communication tip videos. If you ever want to ask me a question that I can address it in a video, DM me or email me. Ask B-E-E -E Wiley at coach. What is my email? I got two of them. Let me give y'all this one. Dating tips at coachbwiley.net. That one's easier. Talk to you later.